On February 1st, 2022, we will be entering the year of the water tiger. And so I want to tell you what that's going to be like. Hi everyone, I'm Donna, your practical astrologer. And today we're talking about Chinese astrology. I love the fact that it has an energy for the year. So as I said in the intro on February 1st, 2022, we will be entering the year of the water tiger. Currently uh, in 2021, we are in the year of the metal ox. So, and two animals probably couldn't be more different than these. So metal ox is very much about rebuilding, about trying to get back to what is familiar, get back to a pattern, get back to a kind of a sense of safety. And so it's taking all of the changes that have happened over this last year and a half, two years, and saying, all right, what's our new normal and how can we get back to a routine? With that though, we are going to go from this energy and shift into water tiger. So we're going to change elements and of course we change signs. And so the energy of tiger, of course, is far more energetic than an ox. The tiger is kind of a, a dual energy because there is still that idea of sleeping in the sun, taking a nap, etc. But there will be bursts of high energy and high activity. And so this we will kind of see in the sense of, you know, things like the uh, financial markets might have periods where, you know, uh, everything stays in a trading range where it only goes up a certain amount or down a certain amount. And it just kind of ping pongs between an upper and lower amount. And then it will break free, either breaking upward or downward and seem to be just completely wild for a change, you know, for a period of time. So, and this will be the same where we are looking at society themselves too. So things will be quiet. And of course the new cycle doesn't like quiet. So it will start to try to drum up something, but then some real news will happen. And this could be social unrest or, you know, resurgence of pandemics or uh, natural disasters or things like that. And then the new cycle is very focused and it seems like there's just a flurry of news and then things will calm down again. And so then in our personal lives, we are looking at this energy in a similar way as well. And some signs do better with that than others. So, but this is more of a finding that balance almost from a point of, you know, planning, thinking, meditating, and then high activity, moving towards a goal, really focus on getting as much done as possible in a short amount of time. And then going back to that meditative state where you're analyzing what you did or, you know, just observing the results of what you did. So, uh, of course, this is a new beginning for anybody born in the year of the tiger. We'll be talking a lot about that over the course of the next few months. Uh, but a new beginning for most signs can be challenging, but for tigers, not so much because, you know, if I said to a tiger, Hey, you know, like, do you want to do something new? Tigers most likely to say, yes, absolutely. So I think that you'll find this upcoming year very good for you. This is also a beneficial time for horses and dogs. And so if you're born in one of those years, you have a lot of positive energy. This can be a challenging year for monkeys. And we will talk about that. The fortunate thing, if you are born near the monkey is you're highly adaptable. You learn very quickly. And so you, you know, when anybody does the opposite year, it can be really challenging. But for you guys, I don't think it's going to be quite as challenging because you're so adaptable. And then finally, I just wanted to say that if you know what element you're born under, that if you're born under the wood element, you will benefit the most from this shift of elements. So because we're going to go into a water year and water feeds wood, which means the entire world will be giving you resources and things you need. So, and again, we'll talk about the other signs and the other elements in a future video. I just want to give you this quick little overview. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments section. And that's it. I'll see you in the next video.